What up, Doke Hunters? We are back with more UI breaking news. We have the full unit breakdown here, courtesy of Gorsh for the translations. Actually, Monado's Flash, too. He translated the Team Universe 7 EZA. So before we jump into all of this stuff here and talking about all these cool abilities, let's start with the animations because they actually released a whole bunch of additional info and uh, videos for the Tanabata celebration. This is for JP. Global players, you should still summon for the ninth anniversary let me make that very very clear all right you do not want to be skipping the ninth anniversary because those characters are really really good beast gohan i mean look you wanna you want to summon for ui i get it but imagine beast gohan and ui right so don't forget that let me go ahead and pause the music let's check out the animations the banner unit is dispo by the way can you keep up with my speed I do think his attack is pretty cool. The little, like, lightning discus thing. Alright, let's see it again. Oh, this brought me to tears. Oh, that's so cold! If you want to check out my full reaction, check out the previous video. This one's not going to be the same level as the last one. I love that the art shows him diving deeper. His eyes are closed. I love it. Little head shake. So beautiful. And then the transformation. And the music is actually pretty sweet. He gets his own domain. The domain of the gods. And he counters! Oh, that's so sick! He counters, dude! That's just not fair! There, we have to get an LR it for part two just so that this animation sequence can look so much nicer. I remember how janky didn't look at that, that spot where they're kind of fighting back to back when they both reach their final forms. Oh, and then the best KO screen of all time. Of all time, fight me. Nothing tops this. Nothing. Nothing. So there you go. Let me know in the comments what you think about the animations. It, the, the answer better be, uh, it's insane. So uh, there you go for the animations. Now let's jump in and take a look at what these characters can do. We're going to start with Dispo. Can you keep up with his speed? So here we go. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me pull it up this way. Uh, Dispo. This is the Dispo right here. All right. We, goofy looking goober. And then we've got the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. That sounds so weird saying it without the Beerus voice. All right, here we go. Dispo, Accelerated Battle, 130%. Raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and raises attack for 11 turns. Holy cow. What? Prioritization of speed. Attack and defense plus 150 at the start of the turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 150. When performing a super attack, after performing a super attack, Gain an additional defense plus 150% until receiving an attack during the next turn. Performs an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super. And it performs an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack if there's another universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn. Or if all allies attacking in the same turn are tournament participants. High chance to dodge. 
gains an additional chance to perform gains a chance to perform a critically plus 11 percent every time the character performs a super attack and gains an additional 11 percent chance to dodge during the turn okay so that's your banner unit uh kind of kind of weird but i'm i'm cool with it i mean you want to be having the dokkan festival topo for universe 11 anyway so until until you even have that character does this guy really matter plus this might be a little sneak peek into part two who knows so uh links signature pose hero of justice speedy retribution shocking speed in fighter tournament of power fierce battle categories accelerated battle universe rebel saga special pose universe 11 space traveling warriors defenders of justice and tournament participants that is the banner unit now the tech ui goku look at how massive this is so we're gonna start from the top here tech ui goku limit breaking godly power universe survival saga realm of gods and trusted will 170 percent plus an additional stats plus 30 to reps of universe 7 accelerated battle and powerful comeback categories for the super attack raises attack for one turn greatly raises defense for one turn causes colossal damage raises allies attack by 30 percent for one turn for the 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn raises defense for one turn causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30 percent for one turn the true last chance activates entrance animation upon entry once only when there is at least one other universe rebel saga category ally on the team and gains key plus four attack and defense plus 77 percent for seven turns and an additional attack and defense plus 77 percent for four turns okay so both happen i see okay this this kind of it's kind of fitting like initially when you burst into ultra instinct you're you're kind of doing your thing but then it starts to fade and when it starts to fade you start to panic right all right interesting e plus seven attack and defense plus 200 percent at the start of the turn great chance to dodge great chance to crit reduces damage received by 15 percent reduces damage received by an additional 35 percent until receiving an attack after receiving an attack guard is activated against all attacks during the turn so i said this during my initial reaction dudes got dodge damage reduction and guard all in one which is crazy performs an additional super attack after dodging an enemy's attack during the turn so full dodge got it performs an additional attack that is a great chance of becoming a super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn wow that's just the this is just the omen this is just the sign awakening able to be used starting from turn five awakens and activates shining world of void whatever the word is i mean it, it, he farts the galaxy that's what it is all superclass allies gain key plus four for three turns superclass allies and enemies attack and defense plus 15 percent disables evasion canceling effects so i didn't know what this was at the time but this overwrites an enemy's ability to cancel your dodge so for example if you go to the legendary goku event or the gt legendary goku event or the vegeta event the final stage where you cannot dodge this overwrites that ability so you can dodge so this is an actually insane ability that will be limited to three turns but you also get an attack plus 15 percent boost for allies who belong to realm of gods so realm of gods super class characters during this farting galaxy sequence you're getting 30 percent attack my god prepare for battle over in a flash godly power kamiami huh tournament of power fierce battle legendary power one of these links changes when he transforms i don't remember which one garesh said but that doesn't really matter categories there's a ton of them Universe Rebel Saga, Realm of Gods, and Trusted Will, Reps of Universe 7, Accelerated Battle, Powerful Comeback, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, Legendary Existence, Bond of Friendship, Bond of Parent and Child, Superhero, Earthbred Fighters. Oh, I was trying to do this all in one breath. Tournament Participants, Transformation Boost, Kamehameha, and Battle of Fate. To get all that, that is just the untrans... That is the omen, the sign. Then he goes, Migote no Goku. When he does, he ra greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes Colossal, disables enemy guard. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and all allies attack and defense plus 59% for one turn. For the passive, attack and defense plus 300% at the start of the turn. Gains key plus seven, attack plus 59%, and evades all enemies' attacks and all allies' chance to dodge plus 10% for one turn. 
gains key plus three and chance to perform a critical hit and chance to dodge plus 20 percent per attack performed let me read that again i'm gonna read these first two lines again gains key plus seven attack plus 59 percent and dodges and all allies chance to dodge plus 10 percent for one turn insane this is team i don't think we've ever had this before team dodge boost i don't think we've ever seen that we've seen team damage reduction boost but not team dodge boost gain key plus three chance to perform a critical hit and chance to dodge plus 20 percent per attack performed max key 12 max crit and dodge chance 77. so the key boosting can happen four times and the oh yeah both can happen four times okay counter with tremendous power after evading enemies attack whoa wait that means you counter every attack on the first turn you're evading <laughs> you are countering every attack what gains key plus three chance to perform a critical hit and chance to dodge plus 20 percent per attack performed is a counter an attack i gotta know proton is a counter an attack it's gotta be it's gotta be counters the tremendous power after evading an attack reduces damage received by 20 percent and reduces damage received by an additional 40 percent until receiving an attack dude stop it after receiving an attack guard activated against all attacks during the turn so same thing from the first form gains an additional attack plus 91 percent and chance to perform a critical hit and evades enemies attacks plus 20 percent okay so chance to crit and chance to dodge plus 20 percent if hp is 50 percent or below at the start of the turn performs an additional super when key is 24. did you get all that basically he is stupid he's just stupid oh my gosh what like my my initial video was reacting to the animations now that i know the extent of his actual full kit this guy is this guy is ridiculous what mainly is like i think my favorite part of this well two things number one the ability to overwrite enemies ability to cancel dodge but also giving support dodge i think is really cool really cool you have you have team damage reduction now and now we have team dodge that is very nice so let me know in the comments what you think about this character jp players obviously we'll get to enjoy this character very very soon i believe we actually have a date for it uh let me go here and then let me go here <laughs> There you go oh that's so, right uh june 28th um till july 18th so that's in japan so basically this isn't like a day right i think time about it starts in like a day as of me posting this video but there you go so yeah this is gonna be dropping uh pretty soon also they they dropped so many announcements there's actually a ton more to talk about so that is the ui goku um i'm not gonna dwell on this much longer I want you guys to soak it all in. This guy is ridiculous. Once again, global players, you should still summon for Beast Gohan. You should still enjoy the anniversary. This character, we have no idea when it's going to be showing up on global. After my stream, I was waiting for the translations and I jumped on uh, Truth Stream. We we're just talking about like, we just have no idea where this could conceivably show up on global unless they cram it into the trap celebration, which I don't think that they would. So where is this going to happen? when is it going to happen so in the meantime just enjoy what we currently have jp players will be able to enjoy it now but this is not going to be a thing for much longer so this is literally the last time the tanabata will be displaced like this don't worry so uh let's actually okay before we move on to the other announcements let me let me pull up this team universe 7 so team universe 7's eca this is i'm just so shocked that this actually happened this is the sixth anniversary part two lr so I talked about this in my Tanabata predictions because I just didn't think that they would do this given that they didn't do this with the other anniversary part two LRs. The five year anniversary LR part two, which is the Broly trio, only EZA during the ninth anniversary. The LR Goku Black Rose from five year anniversary part two only EZA last year during worldwide download. So it, it wasn't supposed to necessarily pan out this way, but it did. So 
Never apply logic to Dokkan, or I guess sometimes they do while you don't. Leader skill, I don't know. They didn't show it. It doesn't really matter because his leader skill was key plus four, one fifty, right? Isn't that what his leader skill is? Uh, universe seven, reps of universe seven. We go here. Yeah, so it would just be like key plus four, one eighty percent or something like that. It wouldn't be anything crazy. Uh, for the super attack, massively raises attack for one turn. Causes Colossal, raises allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. So that's what uh, that's what this is now. So, okay. Much, much better. 18 key causes Mega Colossal damage, raises allies attack and defense by 30%, and chance to perform a crit by 7% for two turns. So that was only a one turn thing, and it was only defense. Now you're getting both. So that is also an excellent support ability. Now for the passive. So here is the base passive. Attack and defense plus 70. My god. Now it's attack and defense plus 177. E plus one up to five. Chance to perform a crit and reduce damage received by 7% up to 35. Per reps of universe seven category ally on the team. So the more universe seven units, the more of a boost you're getting. For a support character, getting damage reduction, that is huge. Also with a massive backbone stat line now. Very, very nice. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 77%. Chance to perform a crit and reduce damage received plus 17% when there are five or more reps of universe seven category allies on the team, which there should be. So that's even more backbone, even more damage structure. My goodness. Randomly changes key series of a certain type, int excluded into rainbow when HP is 77% or below at the start of the turn once only, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when key is 17 or more. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% and performs an additional super attack when key is 22 or more. Plus an additional key plus three per rainbow key sphere obtained, making the previous two conditions far easier to obtain thanks to the other condition that was listed. Chance to perform a critical hit plus 7%. All allies other than this character. Key plus one attack and defense plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Oh my god. What? How? I mean, it's an anniversary, so it should be. My category. <laughs> my category has got to be top two in the game. Universe Survival Saga, or did I just drop an accent? Universe Survival? Universe Survival Saga, or Reps of Universe 7, they got to be top two. They have to be. They have to be. This is stupid. This is absolutely absurd. Who cares about the leader skill? Oh my God. All right, so let me know in the comments what you think about that EZA. Okay. So with all that out of the way, now let's take a look at the other announcements. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just go to the news in here. So they actually talk about it here. So uh, as they said in the Tanabata video, they are gonna be doing a new blue zone. This is for Universe Survival Saga and you can earn tickets, which is Q. And then, uh, let me see. What else did they talk about here? Oh, this is the Dokkan event teaser for Migotte no Gokui. So it's Beerus, you know, talking about it. And then the Dragon... Not the Dragon Ball story, but the, the story event for Universe 6. These characters are getting easy... Uh, not easy A's, but TURs. So that's fantastic. These characters were really not going anywhere. And with Universe 6 in the condition that it's in right now, the state that it's in, this can only mean good news. This is good for not only Universe 6, but also Tournament of Power. So I can't wait to see what these guys can do. We don't know the stats yet. We have seen the animations for this guy, which I guess we could pull up. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, we go to this. Oh, here it is. Oh, he's... Oh! Haha, <laughs> he's got a counter. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So there you go. Uh, what else did they announce? Uh, that was it. But let me just check a few more things. Nope, that appears to be it. That is everything that we've got so far. If there's anything that I missed, I will clarify in the pinned comment down below. But yeah, Tanabata is a massive W with an incredible start. I can't wait to see what else they reveal. Obviously, when the JP campaign starts, we'll know more, potentially other EZAs. And then in a couple weeks, we will see what's going to be coming up for part two. Again, this is happening while Global is celebrating the ninth anniversary. So during our part one, their part one will commence. 
during our part two their part two will commence and then the two versions will well we won't join up the two versions will have one mini trap celebration before going into worldwide download as far as real estate using using the usual dokkan conventions it does not make sense for global to receive a tanabata unit with this trap celebration that remains either they integrate the tanabata into worldwide download or it gets its own integration process in another celebration either during this year or worst case scenario during sand day next year but i have no idea so for those of you who are probably going to ask what are they going to do i actually don't know and i could not tell you because it would just be a bunch of nonsense so feel free to share your own nonsense on where this could go in the comments down below because literally nobody knows but i'm still happy for dokkan because this is my favorite category and uh yeah this is definitely going to be one of the best categories in the entire game universe Rose saga if y'all have been investing early on universe Rose saga stocks they are on the rise and it is only going to get higher ninth anniversary the beast gohan banner by the way global players does have ui goku and royal blue both of those ezas are also busted so yeah even more reason to partake global players don't miss out okay jp players can have this but global players you guys should definitely be paying attention and uh summoning on the ninth anniversary guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to like down below let me know in the comments your thoughts on the animations your thoughts on the kit your thoughts on everything what is your favorite part of all this what is your least favorite part of all this when do you think it's going to drop on global let me know all of your theories your thoughts in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more no content of the future and click the notification bell so that you that you should know you want to see more of my stuff do it thank you so much for watching stay tuned and always remember to dokkan responsibly